So welcome to this Myriad video for general users. And in this one, we're just going to take a look at navigating the audio wall. So by default, Myriad will launch up and will show you the audio wall and it will jump to the last selected cart or you can actually select in the customize options which we take a look at in a further video uh, a specific cart to jump to but in this instance it's jumped to cart number one you can see that cart number one is highlighted because it's got this red border around it and uh, this is cart number one because it has the number one in the middle here all the carts have a specific unique cart number and that is always displayed as the middle number here on each of the carts right at the top here we've got our jump buttons so our audio wall if you think of it as one long shelf of audio uh, that's probably easiest if uh, you're of the era of record libraries if you imagine it like one long shelf of records in your record library but the records can be jingles and can be pieces of audio whatever you fancy really and so the audio will start at one goes up to however many you want up to 99,999 if you so desire and it will always be displayed in number order it'll never change to be uh, alphabetical or anything like that the audio will always is in number order and the jump buttons allow you to jump along that long shelf uh, to where the specific bits and pieces are so when you first have your myriad system you do need to think about your audio wall structure so we've got our jingles here starting at one we've got some adverts here starting at 1001 promos from 2001 and our music starts from 3001 but that can be whatever you fancy and so those are the four jump buttons here by default if you click on more you've got the ability to add some jumps in here you can add some local jumps which come up the top personal jumps for your own personal login and shared jumps as well which are shared across the station so the local jumps show up on the top personal are for your unique login and shared jumps are shared across the station and so if we wanted to add another jump button in we can do we can just click on here and click on the plus icon that brings up uh, the caption so what would we like it called we'd uh, say this one is going to be uh, sweepers so type in the sweepers uh, we can choose an icon if we want and uh, jump to and we'll just say our sweepers start from cart number 30 and we click on ok sweepers goes in there and you see they all shove up to make room for sweepers we click on that jump straight to number 30 here and uh, one there so all across so they are our jump buttons uh, another way of jumping to a cart if you know this specific cart number you can click on the jump button here and you can type that number in so uh, again we could just type in 30 hit enter and it jumps to where cart number 30 is on the audio wall We've got a find as well, which brings up find and we'll go into find a little bit more detail in the next video here. But uh, you could type in there and you could just type in sweepers. Uh, we've got nothing there, but sweeper will bring up some bits and pieces here and then double click on that and that will jump to it in the audio wall. So that's the find home. If you've got a personal area, again, this is in customize. It will jump to that personal area on the audio wall. Our personal area just starts at one and goes all the way up. So that's why it's jumped to cart number one jump. We've already done. You type in the number, either type it in on the keyboard or you can click on the numbers here and then click on OK. You can also uh, do that to uh, jump to the next free cart and that removes your numbers here click on cancel that gets rid of that move if you've got the edit rights you can move this cart to a different cart so we could move number one to number 31 just type in 31 click on ok you can see it's now moved over there but uh, we'll just move it back to number one and that's the move you also have the ability there if we highlight that and choose that again you can also copy so you can copy a piece of audio to a next cart here if uh, you don't know where your next cart is but you know your area um, then you could type in 10 we can see we've already got something here but if we click on this icon here that uh, finds the next empty cart which was that cart number 31 and then we could click on ok and it would move it there that's move also got copy in there too. edit that brings up smooth edit allows us to do our timing changes and uh, change the information at the top here as well so uh, they are the buttons down there find button 
Uh, we also have the ability to do finds from the audio wall. So if we wanted to do um, a find cart and also find similar here, so we could do find all carts by Hot FM. So that looks at the artist here, Hot FM, and does a little find for us. So very, very useful there. Uh, and also we could do a find similar and we could do carts with a similar length and then that way it'll go through the database here and it's looking for carts that are six seconds give or take 10 seconds either side and uh, so that's really very useful let's right click here find cart find similar suggest similar from the database as well and we've got our jump to the next empty cart as well Various other bits and pieces here. We can preview the cart, preview the extra. We can add it to a pad. We can add to autoplay. Autoplay is a uh, function, a very, very scary uh, function uh, that uh, basically it will play that item up to the top of the hour automatically. You don't have to do anything. You've got move and copy. Card information, you can bring up more. We can export the cart as uh, original file, different audio wall fo format, or export it as a transport file publish it using the podcast creator, record into the cart, delete the cart, edit the cart's audio and details, and also just edit the cart details using Smooth Edit. So we can right click on that, and then that allows us to do that straight away. Or if we right clicked on it and did audio and data, then it brings up the full uh, audio editing view in Smooth Edit. So that's navigating around the audio wall, finding things. Once you found them, you just drag them down into a cart player and then you're ready to hit play, pause, requeue and eject however you want to do it. So that is navigating around the audio wall. Click on the find, click off and it will revert back to the audio wall.